Bafut stress for monosaccharides. Uh, this is the Bafut reagent. Uh, it contains actually cupric acetate in uh, glacial acetic acid. This is this Bafut reagent. And we have taken 1 percentage glucose, that is monosaccharide, as well as 1 percentage sucrose, which is a disaccharide. So this is, uh, sucrose is taken as a control uh, solution, negative control. Now, this is tubes mark 1 and 2. To the tube mark 1, we are adding 1 percentage glucose solution, approximately 2 ml. You can take the test tube in your left hand if you wish. So that is 2 ml approximately and approximately 2 ml of sucrose is also added. You need not use a pipette here. So this is a, a, a negative uh, control for buffer stress, that, that is a buffer stress, that is a sucrose. Now we add uh, the buffer reagent. Approximately 2 ml, that is an equal amount of uh, buffer reagent is added to both these tubes and uh, don't uh, forget to shake the tubes well so this is still be a practice that uh, every time the reagent is added it has to be shaken well and uh, uh, we have already kept the boiling water bath ready uh, ready boiling so this is important because uh, uh, the tubes are boiled for three minutes not beyond that because after three minutes uh, even disaccharides can develop a positive test so after one minute uh, if you take it out, you can uh, already see a red uh, color uh, uh, appearing the first test tube. See, the red uh, color has been uh, shown up. Now, uh, after two minutes, if you take the tube, uh, you can see a red uh, precipitate, uh, patches of red precipitate in the first test tube in which glucose was taken. Uh, it's not there in the uh, second test tube in which sucrose was taken and this is uh, uh, after the completion of the test after three minutes you can see a clear red precipitate at the bottom of the first test tube and sucrose do not give a Bafot's positive reaction and glucose use a positive reaction for Bafot's and not sucrose sucrose is a disaccharide a Bafot's test positive reaction indicates the presence of monosaccharide uh, actually, the cupric acetate present in the Barfords reagent get uh, reduced. It gets reduced to uh, cuprous oxide, uh, which actually gets precipitated at the, uh, at the bottom of the uh, test tube. A negative Barford stress indicates the absence of monosaccharide. So, this is uh, Barford stress. Uh, thank you very much.